Chef Anthony here today at the Robinson Experience Center. I'm going over your steam oven. I'm going to focus on just steam cooking, what you would normally cook, and I'm going to go over every piece of the steam oven. So let me open it up. We're on this Gen Air model, but there, we have a ton of models here. Let's look at this on the inside. You'll see your rack right here. And the very first thing we want to check is the water reservoir, okay? So let's pull this up. I just put fresh water in here. Has to be tap water, no filtered water, things like that. It needs the natural minerals from regular water. So if you're filling up your steam oven and you don't see any steam, it's probably because you have filtered water or distilled water. We need regular water, we need to put it in our reservoir. For you customers that have the plumb line in already, you don't have to worry about this step. It's already really filled into your machine. That's a few models, okay? So right here, push it in and you'll see it click. See how it locks in like that? Now we know it's locked in. And the theory behind this is when we turn the machine on, this is really gonna pour out into our machine our elements are going to heat up and it's going to create that great steam and mimic that boil that we want in our oven. All right. So closing the oven door, we'll turn our machine on, give us a nice welcome and it'll say presets. We're going to go right to manual. We're going to hit OK. This is steam, exactly what we want. So we'll hit OK. It'll tell us to fill our water. We already did that. Now here is the prompts, 212 degrees. That's the same temperature. That's gonna be synonymous with every machine you have, every one we sell. 212 is the generated steam. So it won't get any higher than that in steam, okay? Next, 20 minutes, we're actually doing vegetables. Probably gonna take around 10. So we're gonna to go to 10 minutes. We'll hit okay, and now we'll hit start. Now we'll preheat our machine. This is very important when we're talking about cooking with steam or with anything. We need to preheat it, get it up to the right temperature. That's really where we get a fluctuation in cooking. While we wait for the steam to cook, we're gonna talk about a few things. The steam oven really retains some of the nutrients, all the nutrients in your vegetables and things like that. Bright, crispy, green vegetables, great carrots, very nice items. But it's not just for steam, you could cook fish, we can cook a ton of other items in here. Think about anything that you're gonna boil on your stovetop, you wanna put in your steam oven. Talk about pasta, we wanna talk about making risotto. Even the normal brown rice or oatmeal and things like that now can be made in your steam oven, really eliminating your cooktop, kind of giving you an added piece to your arsenal. So, Think outside the box a little bit and have some fun with what you can steam, okay? So now we're preheating right now. And once the cavity fills up, you see a little condensation on the glass. That's really when we know it's ready to roll, okay? And it'll give us a nice little beep. All right, our steam oven is up, preheated. Check out that amount of steam and the condensation on the glass. We're up to the full temperature of 212. This is where we'll add our vegetables. Today we're just doing green beans and some carrots just with a little salt and pepper. Notice the tray. We're using the perforated tray with the holes in the bottom so we can get that airflow all the way through. That's really what we want to use for vegetables and items like that. So we'll pop this in right here. Sorry. Lock it in. Close that. That should take around eight or ten minutes depending on the thickness of your vegetables. So in steam, in this perforated pan, we need that airflow to go all the way through. There is an option to add a solid pan on the bottom to catch the drippings. I feel like in vegetables, you don't really need it. It's kind of a moot point, but when we're talking about steaming shrimp, fish, or any other types of proteins that you know might linger and leave an odor in your oven, things like that, that's really where you wanna put that second solid pan and that would really go right underneath on the next rack. So we would put it right under here just to catch all the drippings. So our oven base is clean. All right, close that. But that's really the only time that we would use that is really with proteins and things like that. So eight to 10 minutes, we're gonna get crispy vegetables. All right, timer's off, let's open this up. Great amount of steam. Here are the veggies. This is really what we wanna see perfectly cooked vegetables. Green beans are nice and tender. Carrots are perfect. Great snap and crunch. Very hot though. But 
all the flavors, all the nutrients, everything you see in a nice fresh bean. Obviously, any vegetable you do, they'll vary in cooking times, but this is so nice and easy for you. Way more flavor and a lot, a lot more convenient than boiling it on the stove and coming to, to the sink and draining it. Here, we're steaming it, and with the addition of the other settings, such as convection steam, now we can bring the whole meal out. Think about steaming your potatoes for a potato salad, things like that. There are a million options in steam. Just get it in your head, anything you want to boil, we can do it in a steam oven, make nice and easy. All right, very good, very perfect. Now, another huge question I always get, Chef, what did you do to my oven? Now it's a huge mess, how do I clean it? And that's usually my favorite question. Steam oven's usually the easiest one to clean. Okay, let me go over here. I usually take a clean pot and a rag and I just really wipe up all this liquid. Nice microfiber towel, okay? Take out the rack, and there'll be a little bit of water in there. And everyone, the water, some of this water will pour it back, some of it won't, depending on which model and machine you have, right? So I just like to take it up like this, instead of using paper towel, which is costly and you know kind of wasteful, we'll use this, get all the liquid, and wipe the whole cavity of this out. You really want to do this because you don't want to create any moisture. That's why I like to invest in cooking the whole meal or everything I'm doing in here because it is a little bit of a cleanup, but this is the easiest oven you will clean. So let's get underneath there. Let's make sure we get the tops. We don't really have to worry about the uh, rails too much, but just like this, we wipe this out, we're ready to go on. In a few minutes, we're just ready to go on to another cooking application and really love our steam oven and use it for more products, okay? Thank you.